In this video, we'll reveal some various tricks and suggestions for achieving better image transfers. There are many print resources for transferring images. Inkjet printers can be used, however their water sensitivity makes the process more complex and tends to result in a blurred image. Standard laser printers or photocopy machines are ideal. 20 pound bond paper is normally used in most photocopiers and works well. The best acrylic mediums to use for transferring images include polymer medium gloss, GAC 500, and fluid matte medium. However, avoid using anything thicker because thick gels do not penetrate as readily as a medium does and are more difficult to spread. By measuring, you'll know how much product to use for future projects and reduce waste while assuring adequate adhesion. This container holds about one fluid ounce of medium. The actual amount used will vary based upon the surface texture and absorbency. Trimming excess white space reduces paper rubbing time and provides an overall cleaner look. Pour the medium into the center and then spread by brush. Apply the product quickly but evenly. It is critical to achieve a uniform coating, especially along the edges. This assures good adhesion and that the entire surface dries at the same rate. Coat both paper and substrate and then attach. A sheet of plastic helps reduce the damp paper from grabbing the applicator and also getting medium on the top side of the paper. Using a dough scraper, squeegee, or other rigid and smooth plastic applicator, push out air pockets and excess product. Always work from the center out. Use a lot of pressure with the squeegee to assure good contact of image to surface. You want to marry the image to the surface. Peel back a corner, and if the image is coming up with the paper, lay it back down and wait a bit longer. As the paper loses its transparency, it's time to peel the paper off. The pulling angle is important. Pull slowly and carefully. You should see most of the paper coming off, but the image remaining on the surface. Allow one to two minutes before rubbing off the remaining paper. Removing residual paper can be done with fingers but also experiment with various fabrics to reduce finger fatigue. Continue to remove paper fibers, working around the entire image. Avoid concentrating in one area, as the acrylic is still sensitive enough for ink to come up with the rubbing. When it appears that most of the paper is removed, stop rubbing and let it dry. The dry surface will reveal any remaining fibers. Lightly re-wet the surface and remove the last vestiges of paper. Be careful not to overdo it as it is still easy to rub through the image. A coat of medium can be used to clear up the remaining fibers. For the best image clarity, carefully saturate the surface with acrylic medium. Images can be touched up and painted over with acrylics as desired. The use of a UV protecting varnish is also suggested for increased longevity of printed materials. Here's one final tip for transferring over uneven surfaces. On very textural surfaces, a foam roller works better than a squeegee because it conforms to the surface. Press the damp paper into the cracks and crevices, but avoid tearing. Once the paper has been removed, a close-up shot reveals the image follows the texture nicely. For more information, please visit goldenpaints.com.